Here I am, one of my favorite places again, Wilshire Gun, and I've explained before that our good friends over at Wilshire Gun not only uh, take care of you for classes, but if you really want to take it to the next step, they've got the Class 3 uh, section of their operation, which also includes getting what's called the NFA, which stands for National Firearms Act, and our good friends over here at uh, Oklahoma Machine Guns, and Ty Miller is here. Ty, we've talked about how uh, NFA affects your suppressors and your machine guns, but there are other firearms that are under the NFA banner. Yeah, that's right, Lee. What we call uh, other classifications under there are the short barrel shotguns and uh, AOWs, which, are, which we'll talk about probably at a later date. And of course, after 1968 under the Gun Control Act, the addition of what we call destructive devices. Short barrel shotguns, in other words, Sawed off shotguns. Yeah, exactly. The law goes and says that a shotgun with a barrel length less than 18 inches is considered a short barrel shotgun, which most people call a sawed off, yes. Why would you want a, a short barrel shotgun? Uh, probably for the same reason the military and police want them. Uh, you have the, all the firepower and package of a highly reliable pump action shotgun or semi automatic, uh, you know, in a 12 gauge, 16 or 20 that you can go and get, but it's highly maneuverable. It's much easier than having a big 24 inch, you know, field gun that you're trying to go and protect your home with. You got a number of beautiful ones here. Let's just start with what, what we've got right here. This is just your standard uh, police Magnum Remington 870. Mm -hmm. It goes and takes and open that up and take a look at it. This is 11, uh, a little over 11 inch barrel fixed with fixed rifle sights. So you can go and take in for if you're shooting slugs, much more effective with your night front sight on there. So you, you could also mix run. and match, couldn't you, in the magazine? Absolutely. You can go and you can go and take and put slugs through it. You can also go and take and put regular shot in there. You know, double up butt. Mm -hmm. Probably the, the best defensive system that you can probably have. Is that an adjustable uh, adjustable stock? It has an adjustable Very stock good. to it. You can also go and interchange it out with any of the other major stocks. This, this one here, yeah. Oh yeah, this one. This one's really fun. Uh, this is uh, one of the Remington MCS. Very rarely do you see these actually get out for uh, commercial purpose uh, purchase. This is a Remington MCS, the modular combat system developed for the military. Notice that it has this quad rail, uh, the Picatinny rail mm -hmm. at the top, so you can mount optics and sights. However, you can also use the attachments to mount this on the bottom. Of, a, of an M4 type weapon with rails so you can build what they call the key to the city as a master breaching system. <laughs> breaching system? Well, a breaching system, uh, most people will go and take and look at these things um, as a defensive weapon. However, most police and military, we've used the shotgun as a way to get in and out of places quickly, primarily doors. What you'll end up doing is you can go and take a variety of different rounds and you can engage either the locking mechanisms or the hinges of a door with those under, with, when you train with it, and it will go and it'll take and it'll basically remove the resistance so you can just push the doors in. Back in the gangster days, I guess they used to just saw off the barrels themselves? Uh, absolutely, they were used all the time in that manner, um, and that's one of the reasons why they were added to the NFA. This is just a, simply a Stoger stage uplander gun, you know, side by side, double barrel, 12 gauge that we took and converted into a short barrel shotgun. It's just, you know, saw down the barrels, yep. and then went and took and modified the stock once it was approved by the NFA to be able, by the uh, ATF in order to go and make it. So, a very handy dandy, small. Can gun. definitely hide that somewhere easily, and someone who can't shoot or is a little timid. You, you go and you take and you can get your hand in there, and you can go and take real quick up inside, up inside of your home in the middle of the night. You have quite a bit of firepower right there. If that's something. Now I know what this looks like, but what would a practical use uh, in the home be for a, a weapon like this? Well, th these are uh, destructive devices um, made by uh, Lewis Machine and Tool. Uh, you have one that's mounted right here onto the rail system for a rifle, and you have one mounted here. They're normally called M203s. Um, the, you know, destructive devices are one of those kind of oddballs. Not a lot of people own them, mm -hmm. um, but we do sell, go and take and sell them. We're the only uh, dealer in the state of Oklahoma that can go and make, manufacture, and sell as many DDs as we want. Um, we go and we take and carry loose machine and tool. So within these, you have a variety of different uses. Uh, primarily, you can go and use it like a breaching tool like the shotguns. We right. have rounds for that. Uh, we also have defensive rounds. Uh, this is a basically a reloadable 
um, M203 grenade launcher, 40 millimeter round that goes and takes and takes 22s. Oh. So when you go and take and fire that gun, it unleashes all of those 22s. So that fits in there yep. and would shoot out all the 22s. Absolutely. Yeah. It goes and takes right inside here on the, on the side of the weapon. Right. You take and you're going to open up. You take the, you load it into the chip. And you're ready to go. Absolutely. So there's a variety of different fun things you can do with it. Um, you've got some different noise making devices, kind of like fireworks, you can go and shoot at them if you wanted to. But, uh, you know, some practical uses. You're in rural Oklahoma, middle of the night, you're out and about, uh, you hear something in your yard, you don't really have the ability to see very well. Take your, take your 203 right there, take a white star parachute right here, go and take and load it in the tube, let it off into the air. Like, as a, like Apocalypse Now. And, yeah. uh, what a, a bri bridge! A bridge too far. Exactly. Saw when that yeah. thing pops up in the air, it's going to deploy a parachute, and the flare will actually hang underneath mm -hmm. it, and it literally turns night into day. Wow! And so you can see for quite a great distance through open terrain. What about this silver-looking one? Uh, this is a smoke round. Okay. So you're going to go and take and you go and uh, load that into the end of the launcher, mm -hmm. and you're going to be able to go and push that out to you know, two, three hundred yards, uh -huh. and then it will begin to go and start smoking, deploying a colored smoke screen. And this little guy looks kind of like a bullet. Yep, this this looks almost like a what we call a high explosive grenade, mm -hmm. which uh, which we don't sell, we don't, you know, you're, no. most civilians can't buy. Um, you go and take the HE grenade, but this is the, sm this is the trainer. It essentially has a small nine millimeter round in the bottom, it goes and takes and fires that primer. And when it does, it ignites and shoots that out, and it will deploy a chalk like a, like a blue chalk round. Oh, so, so you can practice. So you can practice, you can see where you're hitting, you can see a visual mark on the targets where you're hitting, so you can get very good at it. This is how we practice in the military, to go uh -huh. and shoot the M203s. Well, Ty, you've shown me a lot of great things. Uh, do I get an opportunity maybe to shoot something? Would you like to go out and try one? Yeah. So, as Joe Biden, the Vice President, once said, just go out and get a shotgun. Something tells me he wasn't thinking of one of these. I don't know if he was talking about this one, but he said a good double barrel shotgun, you know, fire right through the door. I wouldn't highly recommend that. Yeah. But, uh, but thank you, Mr. Vice President. I appreciate it. Let's see what it's got. All right, so up close in here, we're just going to take it off safety. We're going to take it, put it up close in here. Right in here real quick. And then you can go and take it, come right back. There you go. Man. <laughs> That's quite an explosion. <laughs> yeah, yeah, there, there might be some fingerprints left. I'm almost a little scared. Not a lot to hang on to. <laughs> that flash coming out of the barrel right there at you, you can feel the heat. <laughs> That's fascinating. But again, from the hip. Makes for a bad day. Yes. 